my dear students welcome back to this mini to school as i said to you earlier today i am going to display the names of the students who attended the exams as well as who are showing interest in activities first i am going to display the students who are involving actively in Activities. The names are here. The order is based on the timing you send your activities. Okay. Okay. The second page is I would like to display the names of the students who attend. exams i'm not going to say the first the second third because many of the students performed very well and comes to first place so i can't dislike most of the students are first okay so i think i would display the names according to their timing they send their their answers okay here are the names we appreciate the students who performed well in their activities as well as exam through your exam i found that you understood that what i am teaching you but still i didn't received many answers as well as activities please get involved in this because this class is going to help you in this academic year let me say once again this academic year is based on this class because we started the classes the academic year is on 2020 to 2021 it's on so please parents be sincere and i want my students to involve in activities because this will help you further okay so shall we start today's class okay today's class is also on revision some more reading some more pictures some more understanding and this class is based on um activities in video itself okay i'm going to give you activity homework at the end but still before that i want my kids to do activities in between the class then you'll get involved right Shall we today we have crosswords picture reading reading and understanding everything okay let's start first let's start from a reading and understanding i hope that you were very familiar with reading and understanding but still i'm going to give you a paragraph from the paragraph i'm going to ask some questions and you try to answer the questions the paragraph itself the answer is there and try to answer my questions this is not an activity just try in your rough note okay shall we start i'm going to display the paragraph what's the paragraph says this is jack he is my best friend he is from australia he has been in thailand for 2 years He has two older brothers. They all live in a big house in Bangkok. We like to play football together. We also like to go swimming. Jack is very strong and he can swim very fast. Do you all understand what this saying? This is saying that a person is in, uh, saying about his best friend. Do you all have best friends? All? You love your best friends? Yes. Yes. Here are 
a boy or a girl is saying about his best friend that is named as Jack. His best friend's name is Jack. Then saying that who he, where he is from and about his family, about his physique, about his interest, about his strength, everything. Okay. First question is Jack is from Tash. Jack is from Second line read it. This is Jack. He's my best friend. He's from Dash. Jack is from Australia. Write down Australia. Okay. Second question. He has to dash. He has to dash. Fourth line. Older brothers. He has two older brothers. Okay, done. Third question. They live in dash. They live in dash. See. Fifth. Fifth line. They all live in big house in Bangkok. Next. Bangkok. Next. He has been in Dash for two years. Why he has been? Third line. He has been in Thailand for two years. He has been in Dash for two, two years. Thailand. Next question. Jack is very dash. Last line. Jack is very strong and he can swim very fast. Jack is very dash. Jack is very strong. Last question. He can dash very fast. Last line. Try to read kids. Jack is very strong and he can Swim very fast. How many of them know to swim? Raise your hands. How many of them know to swim? Raise your hands. Yes, I can see a few hands. Very good. Jack also knows to swim. So, last question answer is he can swim very fast. Yes, Jack can swim. Very fast. Get back kids. Hello. You are really good in answering. Shall we do one more reading comprehension? Yes. Okay. Let me just lie it. I see a leprechaun. He is on the train. He has a coat of gold. He loves gold. Listen it carefully. I see a leprechaun. He is on the train. He has a cart of gold. He loves gold. Do you all know leprechaun? Who is leprechaun? Leprechaun is a mythical creature. Usually we hear him from stories. Folklore stories. Okay. See the questions here. I see dash. First let I see dash. A drawing, a leprechaun, a troll. What you see? I see a leprechaun. Second question. He is dash. In the boat, in the car, on the train. Why is leprechaun? Why he is? He is on the train. Third question. He has dash. A blue bike, a red car, a cart of gold. What do you can see there? He has a cart of gold. He has a cart of gold. Very good children. Really it is very well, right? You wrote your answers. Yes. Yes. Next, let's move to picture comprehension. That is picturing. What does it mean by picture comprehension? 
answering the questions by viewing the picture by seeing the picture you have to answer the questions okay shall i display our pictures four pictures with options try to write the correct answer okay um you don't need to write in your rough notes or your class note it's okay just see it and answer it it's just for your sake okay shall we start see the first picture a bar is standing the view sky blue sky blue in the sense clouds white see so what does it say it seems like a beach right the answer goes on the boy is sleeping the boy is at school the boy is at the beach the boy is in the car is he sleeping no his his eyes are open wide so he is not sleeping Mm, the boy is at school whether he whether he is wearing any uniform no the boy is at the beach yeah the back road seems like a beach so the boy is at the beach very good you understood this second picture the girl is reading the girl is eating the girl is at the movies the girl is in the car see how she is she is wearing a seat belt a blue color car so whether he is reading so whether she is reading whether she has some books in her hand the girl is reading no the girl is eating Is there any food in front of her? No. Third one, the girl is at the movies. Is it seems like a theater? No. The girl is in a car. Yes. She is wearing a seat belt. So she is at a hall. Third question. The girl is eating. The girl is playing baseball. The girl is at school. The girl is sleeping. What it seems? Does it seems like she is eating? Is there any food in front of her? No, no, no. Yes, no. Next, whether she is playing baseball. She whether she is at the court. No. The girl is at a school. Whether she is wearing any uniform bag or something. No. Is the girl is sleeping. Yes. She closes her eyes. So she is sleeping. Fourth picture. The boy is playing. The boy is eating. The boy is at school. The boy is sleeping. Whether he is playing? Is there any playing equipments? No, no, no. Whether he is eating? Whether he is in front of any food? No. What he is doing? He's writing something, right? At school, what you will do? You used to write. You used to take notes whether the teacher is class, whether the teacher is teaching. So, what does it seem? He is at school. The answer is the boy is at the school. Very good, children. Now we know what is reading comprehension and what is. picture reading next shall we move to the crossword section shall we see what crossword is do you know what is crossword what is crossword there is some blanks 
you have to fill the words with the next connecting word for example i can display a screen here you can see some answers connecting with two three words right so this is known as crossword okay shall i display the question here i'll help you try to answer it okay shall we start is yes, let's start okay see M A A N. Near the missing letter, there is a picture. See, near the missing letter, there is a picture. So you can guess with the picture, right? Can you guess with the picture? Yes. So let's start from the first thing. Match. See, upper to the cat. M. A, you can write the T. Then now understand M A T C A T. The other word is C A T. So both coincided with the letter T. This is known as crossword. So both were intermingling with the letter T. With the letter T, we got two words. What are they? Cat, mat. C next to the letter A N. Which picture is that? One insect is there. Which insect is that? And yes, A N T and. So with the letter T, we got two words. What are the words? And and tab or tab. Near to tab, there is a picture of tab. For is it? Is yes, tab. Next, see. Down to the cat, there is a blank. Near to that, an eating item is that there. We love to eat it. What is that? Cake, right? Cake there. K A K E. Cake. Next, come down to cake. T, one space, then E E. Near to that, a greeny, greeny, greeny. What is that? Tree, T R E E. Then come the last two words, K I T and G G. One can write there. You can see two pictures there. You can write the spelling for any one picture that you know. What's that? Yes, can write yes. So you also got that kite with a letter E. We got two words, kite and egg. Yes, very good, children. You did really a great job. This is known as crossword. Through crossword, we can also get to know what the construction of words, the letters. Yes. Right, very good, children. Let's move to the next topic. Here now, I'm going to give an activity as well. This is similar to crossword, but there is no blanks here. Every letters, every words are scattered in between. You have to find the words from the letters. Okay. The letters are arranged in us. I mean, some order. So we are going to find words from the letters. Shall we start? Let me display. Do you see that? There are some words given. Me, mom, for, dad, but, saw, house, that. Can you find any words there? Yes, in first line. Next to H, there is yum. You, yum, yes. We found on one word, man. Okay, children. Today's activity is take a rough note and draw the column there. Draw the letters the same pattern what you have seen in the screen. Okay, draw it and try to find the words other than mom. 
Uh, mom, I have helped you, right? So other than mom, there are words like um, dad and some words that I'm just lying and screen, right? These words. So try to answer these words, okay? Try to round the words and say, uh, take a picture and send it to me, okay? Now? Everybody, okay. Thank you, children.